Okay, what we want to do next is I want to talk about uh, the VLOOKUP function and a real simple example here. This can be a really useful uh, function. It's what you're doing is it's just going to check your value, check a value against the list that you determine. Now, like any formula, I can use the, the FX and click that little button. It'll give me recent ones. I can look them up there. Or I can go to the formulas ribbon on the bar there, and then I have... What I think is really handy one is recently used. So if you're using some that you, you know, there's formulas that I use a lot more than others. So I'll have those there. But then they're broke by financial, logical, etc. Uh, the one we're looking at is going to be lookup and reference. Okay, and we're going to look at the V lookup. So what we're going to do with this V lookup is we're going to say, okay, we want to look up value. So what number am I going to look up? Well, I want to look up the check number to see if the check has cleared the bank. So I have my list here, the checks that I've written, and the checks paid by the bank. So the number I'm looking up is the value in C3, or that check number. My table array, and again, and the nice thing about Excel, when you use this uh, box like this, it gives you a summary of what's going into that table. So what this is, this is a table array, okay? So an array, it's going to use two columns here. So I'm going to say, I'm going to use this section here. This is where... I'm at. So it's checking the range from A3 to B8. So that's where my table's at. I want to make this absolute so I can copy the formula. So again, I can use the F4 key. And that makes that an absolute value. So it's going to stick with those values in, in the numbers there. The column index tells me, okay, out of those two columns that I've highlighted, rows of uh, column A and B, what's the value, which one am I going to use to report the value on. Well, I want what's in column two, or column B in this case. So it's going to return that particular value. Okay, Range lookup here, true or false, I'm going to do false because I want an exact match. Okay, So that means if you have true, it's going to get the, find the closest value. If it's false, it's going to give you, it makes you have an exact match. And I'm going to say OK. And look, the check is cleared. 3502. And it's looked up in this value saying, yep, we got that one. Now I can just take and grab the handle and drag it down. And notice it's going to report. It shows that these particular checks have all cleared. It gives me an NA, which means it's no value was found on the balance. Now, one just part of the exercise for those of you in my accounting information systems class that you can check is um, is the value the same so is the amount that I have is that different than what cleared in this case no I have it formatted in a comma format I can drag that down and in this case we see if I got a 36 cent error one way or the other. I either have it recorded wrong or the bank has recorded it wrong. And it's quite possible since it's a 5.9 and a 9.5 that we've got a number transposed one end or the other. It can be helpful for figuring out those little minor differences. Again, VLOOKUP is a very powerful function. There's a lot of good lookup functions that you can use. But this is a real quickie that if I have a list or a table, again, I can go through I can say what value I want to look up, in this case C3, and I want to put where my formula is, so it's going to look up the number there and what's it going to, and what number it's going to, re, it's going to return. This is a column, and false is equal to an exact match. Hopefully that is helpful for you.